Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. The activities of headsmen in Nigeria is more than Boko Haram. I don't know why the federal government has not declared them, you know, militants. I don't know. Because it's like they have a stake or they are the ones sending them, so they have to back them up. Anyway, let's go to the news. You will understand what I'm saying. One killed, police officer adopted, others injured in headsmen attack. Can you believe that? One person has been killed. Female police officer adopted. Why two other persons were grievously injured in separate attack on people in Imoruku, a four federal constituency in Ogun State by suspected headsmen? The National gathered that a passenger in a commercial vehicle was attacked on the way from Abiokuta to Oyotoro on Tuesday, while the driver shot dead on the spot also. About an hour later, a policewoman, at, police, policewoman attacked to the area, attached to the area office Oyotoro Police Division was kidnapped and the officer's car was adopted by the road was adopted by the roadside and left there. The adopted police whereabouts still remain unknown. Another person, Shegun Iyemi, was attacked earlier, earlier around Olurodu on Sunday in an attempt to rob him of his belongings. He was stabbed severely and still receiving treatment on his hospital bed at the General Hospital, Iyotoro. A federal lawmaker representing the area, Honorable Elafe, who lamented and, and condemned the attack on his people by the suspected Fulani headsmen, urged the security agencies to live up to their duties by protecting lives and property in his constituency. Elafe, while urging the security agencies to be proactive and devise measures to arrest this solution, he also appealed to the governor, Dikbo Abiodun, to pay attention to the plight of the people. A four federal constituency in the area of security and road rehabilitation, as criminals often take advantage of the passage and the road that is not fine to attack people at particular spots. Lots of people have been victims because of the road situation. He said, I am sad to confirm to you that to the public that is unacceptable. I am sad to formally bring to the public notice of unacceptable renewed onslaughter of Fulani headsmen on my constituency. Why my people, like other global globally, are grasping with the trouble of coronavirus COVID-19? No fewer than three cases of attacks were recorded in Abiokuta Oloro Day. Oyo two road on the last in the last four days, all in the hands of this tormenting Fulani headsman. One Shego Iyemi was attacked around Oloro Day on Sunday, 3rd May, in an attempt to rob him of his belongings. He was stabbed severely as he's still receiving treatment on his hospital bed in General Hospital, Oyotoro. Another passenger commercial vehicle on its way from Abiokuta to Yotoro was also attacked two days ago with the driver shot and dead on the spot. It is glooming to further note that a policewoman attached to the area command office, Oyotoro, was kidnapped same day. The commercial driver was shot dead with the officer's car left on the roadside while the occupants were kidnapped by the men of on the world. I am aware that her whereabouts and holding of hostage are still being tracked by the necessary operative. It is no longer news that the devastated act of the Fulani headsmen in our constituency is affecting our people 
and the security agencies has to double up on their work. I plead with the security agencies to devise better and more proactive measures to put an end to the operative of these Fulani headsmen who have come to start tormenting and kidnapping our people and with this rampage of injuring and killing of people. I call on the governor to also look into the situation of the road as a bad spot on the road leads to attack on the people every now and again. My people, full and lean headsmen are at it again. No? I don't know why the federal government keep condoling this act of evil being perpetrated by the full and lean headsmen in our country. The thing that is going on, if somebody else does it, you will hear, um, you will hear Femi, uh, ad, uh, Femi additional. You will hear him giving an account saying the federal government condemned this or that. Or you will hear Laye Mohammed. You will hear them talking about what the federal government is saying. What about Malami Abubakar, um, Attorney General of the Federation? He will talk about um, what and what has not been done in the country. This evil has to stop. We cannot continue like this in Nigeria, where we have double standards even for security. Look at the case of um, uh, uh, Amajaris all over Nigeria being, di being distributed to every part of Nigeria. Even in the midst of lockdown, interstate lockdown, by the federal government and every state. Yet, they will allow their movement and Nigerian government will say nothing. This has to stop. We cannot continue like this and allow things to continue just as if uh, these people have a higher hand. You know what they are doing? They are killing people, causing security situation in the country to be at a lot. A country that has security issues cannot move forward. Why? Nobody wants to invest in an uncertain area. Nobody wants to go to a place where there is a rancor, where there is no, where they, they are not sure that their business will thrive because they are trying to sort out security. Supposing they've invested and the people they, they, they're supposed to carry out these uh, uh, operations or jobs are killed, how do they make returns on their money? How do they, you know, so there are so many things that will, that will hinder the growth and movement of Nigeria as a whole with, with condoling what these Fulani headsmen are doing in Nigeria. And so therefore the people of Nigeria has to wake up to the reality that Fulani headsmen don't mean well. You know, because they don't mean well. Remember when they wanted to start this Ruga thing and Nigerians as a whole, everybody kicked against it saying no. They have a place in the north. They should remain in their place. Since then, they've been this, you know, on slaughter of people. They are trying to infiltrate into every rook and cranny of the country. But we must rise up and say no to evil and injustice being done in our nation. We must not allow this to continue. Because if we allow it, if we condole it, we are not given opportunity for our state, our locality to grow. Look at what has even happened to a policewoman. A policewoman was adopted. You don't do that in foreign country. If you touch the force, you will see the full wrath of the law. Up, as, up until now, as you're getting this message, the whereabouts of the policewoman, she's not the only one being adopted. Though. She and others in the commercial vehicle, as you heard, the driver was shot immediately, shot dead, and they captured all the other passengers. In an attempt, you know, they've kidnapped them to, you know, get ransom. The policewoman that has been shot, nobody knows about, nobody knows where about. People that have been kidnapped, trust me, they will ask for ransom. This is the way they've been doing all over the country. Nobody is saying anything. Everybody is keeping quiet as if they are the owners of Nigeria. My people, this evil has to stop. Please, I would like you to leave your thoughts in the comment section. Um, don't forget to thumbs up for us. Like and share. And um, leave, your leave your comment. Let's know what you think about what is going on in Nigeria. What is going on with these Fulani headsmen, you know, threatening people, making life unbearable for Nigerians. They are causing so many hard work and nobody is saying anything. Everybody just behave as if nothing is happening and carrying on with business as usual. We must all speak collectively with one voice against evil be perpetrated in our communities. We must not allow this to continue. It cannot continue. You know? Because imagine that man that has been shot dead. He has a family. 
He was on his, you know, daily bread, seeking for how to look after his family before this happened. We can't continue to allow this to happen. There's what we call mechanized farming. We should go into that. Fulani Hesmen should not be allowed to roam about in Nigeria. This evil has to stop. Anyway, leave your comments. Let's hear what you have to say. God bless you. Bye for now.